Hello, welcome to another Patepluma wallet video. And here we have another wallet. This is called the Lempira wallet. It's a brand new design. I released it uh, today. Um, today is January 31st, 2024, in case you see this in the future. And you can already go to my website and order one yourself. It's a very beautiful wallet, very beautiful design. Um, and I would like to go over it uh, here with you. It is a flap, um, <clears throat> excuse me, closure wallet. What this means is that you can do this, but you can also tuck in the uh, into itself. And I will show you how to do that later. But first, let's go over some details. We have the classic here foot with three feathers Pate Pluma logo. You can you have a choice of, of um, stitching here, a color. And to see those colors, you can of course have access to photos online about the different threads I have. Nice uh, polishing of the edges here. And on the back, uh, there is a quick access pocket. Very little uh, is shown from your card, just uh, enough for you to access it, but um, enclosed enough to not to have uh, to worry about damage to your cards, for example. This is the top view from the side, front, the other side. Uh, in case you're wondering, this is a green butero leather here, and this is uh, a waxed petrol color. I love this combination. I never did it before, but actually I think it's really beautiful together. I hope you agree with. And this wallet has three pieces of leather. I will go over it uh, with you soon, uh, so you can see the, the, the three options of leathers that you're going to have when you purchase it. Um, and only this line uh, of, of stitches. This is saddle stitch, of course. And this, this piece wraps around, serves as the place for uh, putting the flap into. But it also wraps around to create that pocket in the outside. It does create also one of the internal compartments. This wallet is, is full right now with uh, some... Uh, cards and cash because I wanted to show you give you an idea of how it is to to use the wallet so let's open it you can do this this way by the way this wallet will come on the on a way in which the flap opens to the left so you will pull this way instead of that way with the Yohoa wallet I told you that I wanted to be a little more inclusive to right and left-handed uh, users and this is a, another example of that I want to be uh, I want to uh, offer the option to open the flap towards the left side as well. But let's open it up. As you can see, it is uh, wide enough for uh, even a little bit wider than US uh, dollars. And you can place them unfolded uh, vertically here in the back, back internal pocket. I have 10 US bills here. Two cards just in front of those bills and four other cards in this uh, separate compartment here in the front. I have th three cards here also in the back. Here you can see how it looks opened. Uh, well, I already started taking these off, but you can, of course, you know how this works. You can access your cash this way. This is prop money. Not real. I wish I had this stack of 100 euro dollar bills at home. I don't. Um, but yes, 10, 10 uh, bills here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, 11. 11 bills there. And those, those two uh, cards in the back as well. Then I have in this front compartment, one, two, three, four cards. And like I said, here I have three other cards. 
and this is how the wallet looks empty now the wallet will come with the uh, Pottapluma ink logo here on the flap with the Pottapluma stamp logo here and it will have uh, options of up to three colors you can you can decide to only have two colors or, or even one tone wallet no problem but you can choose up to three colors and up to three types of leather so I'm giving you many options there this one and like I said is petrol then there's this extra piece that is only attached to this stitch line here um, this piece is also only attached here that's wonderful because you have uh, flexibility on how much you wish to carry here or how much you wish to carry here or how much you wish to carry here on the back it's up to you you see how big that compartment can be I mean I can put all the cards in there if I wish or you can put all the cards in here if you wish and carry your cash folded in half or thirds here really up to you it's a very beautiful design in my opinion it gives you this um, I call it mountain look and the other thing that I like is that if you I can carry the wallet this way but my favorite type of carry is this way when you tucked in that flap because look at how beautiful that looks and when you use it this way you can even use this as a extra quick access pocket if you want in, in addition to this one of course so now this is nine cards and 11 bills um, you can carry more in fact because I will show you now four cards again goes to this front internal compartment two cards I will save them after I put the cash in and again if you don't want to carry your bills like this you can fold them in half and also put them there no problem up to you uh, some people like to have the ability ability to uh, uh, not have to uh, fold their bills so this is handy for that purpose two cards there again this slope here allows you to quickly access your cards even these back ones as you can see see how I can pull them easily I like that's why I like this design here this this extra space now three pockets will uh, three cards will go in the back pocket quick access as you can see and in you can close it this way like I said or uh, how I like to carry this wallet is this way I mean this requires more work and some people will say oh that's too much work and it's like yeah of course but People who love wallets love to play. This is like our, our you know, uh, our toys and our fidget uh, spinners for <laughs> sort of thing. So look how beautiful that wallet looks this way. I think it looks very pretty. Of course, I'm a, a little biased, right? I'm, <laughs> I'm the designer, but now this is an example of the wallet that the flap opens to the left you see how it works this one has this slope here and this one if you're left-handed you want to carry hold your wallet on the right and open the wallet this way um, one note is that the internal pockets always will be facing the opposite way in which this opens that's just the design I cannot do anything with that but I don't think it's a problem to be honest so you'll be the judge of that you can do it this way or tucked in on the back is the same idea this is uh, olive pueblo and this is petrol again wax petrol my personal carry now i have been testing this wallet this is um, pueblo black on top and petrol again it has my personal here i was testing if i wanted the logo on the back or in the front but i decided as you can see to go in the front but look how beautiful this one has red stitching this one has beige stitching and this one as i showed you before has green i love when people um, i hope that people will be matching this flap color with the thread because i think 
it gives sort of a balance. I hope you agree with me, but it's your wallet. You can, of course, design it the way you love it. And um, this one I, I recently made. This one goes to a customer in a, a, a very lovely gentleman in um, California. He's a photographer. And uh, he does amazing work as well. And, and we have been communicating on Instagram for a few weeks now. He bought some of my wallets and, and took nice photos of it. Um, and he bought the first Lempira wallet. Again, this wallet has uh, come available already online. And look at the beautiful tones that he chose. This is a waxed uh, brown or Olmo. Waxed Olmo. Internally... He went with the Pueblo Olmo. You can see they are called Olmo, but they are very different tones. Because this is waxed pull-up and this is Pueblo uh, Olmo. And he went with Butero Blue in the outside. With brown, dark brown thread to match the, the Olmo here. And I hope you agree with me. It uh, turned out amazing. Very beautiful wallet. Uh, you may see in my, in, in my, um, again, maybe close up there. You may see on my website, I have a lot of flap, uh, wallets. I, I, I love them to be honest. I, I really like playing with the leather and, and it's like a fidget, uh, spinner, like I said before. Um, so yeah, but I do have snap closures as well and other types of, of wallets. So if this wallet is not for you. But I hope you agree that it's very beautiful and it deserves your attention. But if it doesn't, check out my other wallets. I think you will. There's a little bit there on my website for everybody. There you go. So you can sort of compare the different colors. Um, and yes. So again, this is called Lempira wallet. Lempira is the. Maybe I'll give you a sample. Give me a sec a, a, a second. As you may already know, I am from Honduras and I live in the Netherlands. These wallets are all handmade in the Netherlands. And uh, a lot of the designs and the product names come uh, are inspired by, by my country where I'm, I am from. Lempira is a national hero of our country. You can see Lempira here. And, Lem and in his honor, uh, he has his portrait in the one Lempira. Uh, bill, but the entire currency is called Lempiras. This is un Lempira, one Lempira, and there's yeah, they give you uh, 25 of these for a US dollar, I think, or something like that. But um, in his honor, I name also my wallet, this wallet Lempira. Um, and uh, he uh, it was the first native Honduran to uh, to protect uh, our people and land uh, when the Spanish conquistadors uh, came to Honduras in the 1500s. Um, so he's, he's a national hero, but that's the story behind him, our currency, but also um, the name of, of the wallet. The, the size of the Lempira is, is, is identical to the US dollar, so it also fits there beautifully, as you can see. Well, ladies and gents, this is uh, this is it. This is the um, uh, the Lempira wallet. Um, I never talk about pricing here because that can be subject to yeah shipping and taxes and uh, you know and in the future things might change and you may be watching this in the future. This is why um, learn more about the wallet, the leather, the size, the capacity uh, of this wallet on my website. I will put the website in the description below of this video. And I'll put there also my email and my Instagram for you to check more photos and to reach out if you have any questions. This is it. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate your positivity and with my designs. Uh, uh, how is it going with Pate Pluma uh, Company, which is the, my, my company. And uh, nice talking to many of you. Nice reading all your comments below. 
please comment, subscribe, like, so more people get to uh, learn about my work. Uh, anyway, thank you again and have a lovely day.